What mm. is, what are we doing? Why are we taping all this? See, I was asleep and he decided to do all this. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, I do my best thinking when you're asleep. <laughs> so, um, we're just very, very mm -hmm. glad um, and happy we took this extra education and we want to make sure we can communicate this to everybody in our community. What education? Well, we did a, our degree in our fellowship in um, integrative medicine oh, from yeah, the University the, of Arizona. You all have seen me cramming um, at the very end of our uh, she lectures. Yeah. Yeah, that's her thing. <laughs> well, the way he studies, he does a little bit every single day, and I just cram a whole bunch in. But at the very end, on the last day, I actually asked our professors, Mom asked what exactly degree we're getting. I really yeah, we're not know. getting a degree. We're not getting it's a degree. A we just graduated. Yeah. We don't have to include all we that. Just, that's gonna be, no, it's important. That's People don't know what kind of degree It's a have. fellowship, just it's like somebody would get so a graduate. fellowship in cardiology, just like yes. they would get a fellowship. So we graduated and, with it's not a degree. degree. In. It's not, it'd be almost like another specialty. Okay. Yeah. So we graduated from the Center of Integrative Medicine through the University of Arizona, which was founded by... Dr. Andrew Weil. Yeah. And he has a bunch of restaurants that we like to eat at called True Food. It's really good. It's delicious, by mm -hmm. the way. Yeah. yeah. Well, today, what were you going to tell people? Well, today we just want to start off our vlog with uh, discussing what the differences well, are in the different you? types of no medicine. One knows. I thought we no already, one knows. I thought we were already no one through knows. that okay, part. Okay, say your name. Okay, good afternoon. My name is Dr. John Lucio. I practice in Jefferson City, Missouri at St. Mary's Pain Management Clinic. And I'm Dr. Jennifer Sue, and I'm a practicing private practice OBGYN. And oh, I like to twist my hair. That's why nervous. I did, no, I did this on purpose with my curling iron this morning. I just want to keep the curls. I got that from Shay Whitney yeah, on that YouTube. Problem, so then. Uh, thank you for the hair tips. And then I practice private practice OBGYN uh, with an emphasis on integrative practices of gynecology. So here today we're going to talk to you a little bit about um, integrative medicine and how it applies to health and wellness. Before we do well, that... how long have you been in practice? I've been in practice 22 years. So we're oh, going to really? go back. You want me to include all that before? No, no, no we're good. We're still taping. I've been in practice for 20 years. Very mm -hmm. enjoyable practice. So, and we're in the intro, Midwest. So we do the end. today talk to you a little bit about a uh, branch of medicine that's rapidly growing called integrative medicine and before we talk about that we have to include some definitions first of all there's a lot of confusion out there about what all these terms mean um, when you hear the term alternative medicine what that means is people are using alternative techniques such as herbal medicine or uh, Chinese medicine in place of conventional medicine so they replace it, conventional medicine, with these other techniques. There's nothing wrong with that. We're not saying there's anything wrong. Right. We're just defining the difference. Right. And then there's complementary medicine, which uses uh, these alternative techniques plus conventional medicine. So it's inclusive of everything. Mm -hmm. And um, I was um, graduated from a DO school in Michigan State, and Jennifer's an MD. And so we both still use our conventional medicine training in addition to uh, these complementary techniques. Now, integrative medicine, what it does, it, it coordinates complementary medicine. That means it uses um, all those techniques that are out there, traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, um, herbal medicine, knowledge of botanical treatments, in addition to conventional medicine, and it puts the patient in the center of the, of the um, care spectrum and it looks at all aspects of their lifestyle, not just their complaint. We're not here to just treat a symptom, we're here to treat the patient yeah, themselves. Dr. Abrams said that in our medical training, um, I remember we're they don't taught... Know who, they don't know who Abrams is. Well, Dr. Abrams is one of our professors, and he's well published and researched. And what he said that in the medical school training we're taught, let's come up with a diagnosis for a patient, boom, 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 and fix all of those problems. But instead, he said, integrative medicine is treating the whole person. What else did he say, treating the whole person? Oh, and it's patient-centered, relationship-based. Because he said we have to have a relationship with our patient to understand how to incorporate their entire lifestyle into right. their healing. Right. It's not like the humans are, right. are, are automobile. Uh, we're all right. different. Uh, genetically, we're different. Genomically, we're different. We react differently to different medications. So yeah. it's important that we understand the patient, not just uh, their symptom, but who they are. Right. Well, I want to give an example. Um, 
there was a graduate of our program and the she was originally a doctor Margaret Thatcher or Hatcher Hatcher yeah Margaret Thatcher is a statesman. I mention people unless we get people permission no, to mention us. But she's a graduate, and she was on a bunch of medications when she first started the program, and she ended up telling her patients, "Okay, when you come to me, I can give you a medication, or I can give you tools to help you heal yourself." So I thought that was pretty cool, and that's mm -hmm. the basis of our program. Right. Right. And um, personally, I had... Um, so this is... So maybe talk about what inspires you to study this and... Oh, okay. To study yeah, what, what, ex what in um, inspired um, me to be interested in this program? Because we had the... to apply and get in and write an essay. <laughs> okay, your turn. I forgot where I was at. <laughs> That's uh, what inspired us, because we had to actually apply, write an essay, be accepted into the two-year yeah. degree. Was really just the success Jennifer had with one of the integrative medicine yeah, graduates yeah. of the program. So that actually His prompted us is... to look Dr. Chris Link. Mm -hmm. He's, he practices here in Jefferson City, Missouri. He's Wonderful. been our mentor, and he's been our inspiration. Um, and personally, even in my practice, I noticed that there are many, many patients that uh, did not respond to conventional techniques or, or medicine that really needed some other avenue. I personally just didn't have that information as did many other physicians in our community. So for those two big reasons, I thought it was a very smart idea for us to, um, to pursue this. And my dad, my dad, Dr. Philosu, has been in practice for 45 years. He just, grad, um, he just graduated, he just retired <laughs> four years ago. He's always done that, like I'd hear him you know, in his notes, he'd say, like, what they enjoy doing, what their kids are doing, what where they're going to college, what their hobbies are. I think, well, that's kind of a waste of time. Why does he want to get to know all their hobbies and what their kids are doing? But it's actually important because you find out where the person's at and you meet the person where they're at. What makes them passionate? What, what gives them? What's their passion? And what are their loves and what gives them joy? Those are all things that we really, as healthcare professionals, really need to listen to patients about because that helps us to take care of them better and to give them the tools of how to heal themselves. Exactly. Um, so I think that wraps up everything. Yeah, for this is our first vlog of, a, of many series that we're going to be doing. Um, and some future topics that we're going to be covering are. Uh, integrative medicine and treatment for depression, um, gut health and how that impacts chronic disease, uh, women's health and uh, men's health as well. Well, something I'm passionate about is self-care and how caregivers and you don't have to be a healthcare professional. Healthcare professionals can range from doctors to physicians to nurse practitioners to medical assistants, nurses, aides, even cafeteria workers at hospitals, how we take care of ourselves to prevent burnout. That's really important, I think, for us to take care of ourselves so we can take care of other people. So I'd like to cover that too. Managing stress is really, really important too. I put, I put diet too, because that's going to be an important Ooh, part. Oh, diet. Some, some things. Okay, let's go. Let's give it a go. No, I taped it. It's done. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. This has been taped the whole